your with your issue there so good luck to you my friend let's go to the next one here Alrighty, um, so this is from Icerom. Hey, something I can actually pronounce. <laughs> We're getting good at this. All right, let's do this. Can 3600 RAM run with a CPU that supports only 3200? Yes, um, you would just uh, basically choose the highest it can go. Um, my new PC is not booting. Oh, well, <laughs> let's continue. I recently bought the motherboard CPU and RAM suggested in the budget all arounder suggested here. Okay, unfortunately on a first attempt, the computer didn't boot or even send any display to the monitor. Okay, the tech who was helping me with this said that the RAM was the problem. As my CPU only supported up to 3200 and the RAM sticks are 3600. However, doing a little web research, I'm not so sure this is true. I would agree. Um, there are situations like um, I've had motherboards, like particularly the Mini ITX motherboard. So I don't know what kind of motherboards you're having, but I've had situations where the Mini ITX motherboard has a restriction on the um, the actual ram that you can utilize and it will nerf anything above that so like there were there was a situation where the um gen 7 intel cpu motherboards with mini itx motherboards they would not allow you to have oh sorry sorry it wasn't it wasn't intel it was amd it was the uh amd ryzen platforms some the, the uh, original motherboards when they first came out i think it was like gen 2 or something like that those mini itx motherboards they wouldn't allow you to um have a certain speed of ram so it, it was one of those kind of situations and it would nerf whatever speed you had but it wouldn't reject the ram but you may notice uh, situations where it could be issues but it never would affect boot so let's keep on reading when using slower ram the computer did appear to send display to the monitor although the display remained blank with the 3600 it displayed a nothing connected sort of message okay the tech believes that the bios might need to be updated before it could even boot so he'll try to get it to boot with an old processor that'll happen later today but he says i'm going to need new ram sticks anyway and that i should return the ones i have i guess i'm getting ahead of myself but could it be an old bios that is also not allowing the 3600 sticks to work even though i asked about the ram in particular any suggestions about the whole thing would be appreciated okay so so with this one here i typically do not believe that having 3600 RAM and a 3200, uh, a motherboard that only can support 3200 megahertz, I don't think that that is a, um, a problem. It never has been a problem. Generally, it'll just nerf it down to whatever the motherboard can support. So I don't believe that. However, if like, if we're, if you just bought it, like, and you only have maybe two days to return it, then go ahead and return it because, and then they just get something uh, a little bit less. I don't think, I'm, I'm not even talking about the issue at this point. I'm just saying, I would do something like that because you don't even want to risk it if you're getting close to your return policy. Now, it throwing that out the way, and we're not even talking about a return policy, no, I don't believe that to be true. I don't believe that having 3600 megahertz of RAM on a 3200 uh, motherboard that can support 3200 megahertz is even a problem. So, so, but your issue here does not sound like a, um, a RAM issue. It sounds like a graphics card issue. I wonder what kind of processor you are trying to use. It sounds like, I'm not sure about the RS Technica, I can click on it, but I'm afraid what may happen because I just set everything up. Um, depending on the processor, you may have a processor with integrated graphics. So what I would try to do is remove the graphics card from the motherboard and then boot the PC with integrated graphics and an HDMI cable going into your computer, going into a PC, or I'm sorry, into a monitor that is 1080p, not 4K, 1080p, okay? That way you eliminate any other potential issues that could cause this problem outside of the motherboard okay and maybe power supply but outside of the motherboard because power supply is pretty obvious if it doesn't turn on and you don't hear anything then <laughs> then there you go but it sounds like from what i what you're telling me is that only supports blah 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 he said okay when using okay he, he only said the display remained blank he never said the device didn't boot so we're not talking about power supply here as of right now. We're either talking about motherboard, graphic card, CPU, or memory. So in this case here, I would say go with the graphics card, bypass the graphics card, hook directly up into the back of the motherboard with an HDMI cable to a 1080p monitor and see exactly what you get. Hopefully th that will point you in the right direction. 
if it gets you a picture, then you have an issue with your graphics card. I would try to plug it into a different PCIe slot and see if that resolves the issue. Now, of course, plugging it into a PCI, different PCIe slot can change the speed of what it can do. But if we're talking about newer motherboards these days, they're so the bandwidth that they can handle is so far and above. Like as long as it's you know PCIe three x16 or even maybe eight as long as it's something like that you're perfectly fine so i would say plug it into a different pcie slot if it turns out that it um is because of the graphics card and see if that resolves it otherwise it's just a bad graphics card now if it's not the graphics card and you plug it into the integrated graphics and you get a picture and it's also not the graphics card well Okay, well, if that was the case, then then I don't know what to tell you. But if you didn't get a picture with the CPU or the graphics card, then I'm thinking about the motherboard at that point. Then I'd be like, okay, we may want to take a take a look at the motherboard and see if the motherboard is having issues. Now, the re what interests me is that he was saying that you need to get to the BIOS, might need to be updated. But how can you get to the BIOS when you can't see it? So um, I guess we're gonna hit him. But could it be an old BIOS? Uh, no, no, I, I I definitely wouldn't say it would be an old BIOS, um, because you uh, did each did you try older sticks of RAM? Sticks of RAM anyway, and I should return the ones I have. Like unless you're trying to fight a long line, I mean trying older sticks is a possibility. Um, but I think the 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 tech that was doing it, he said he put in the tech who was helping me said that the RAM was a problem, as my CPU only supported. However. Yeah, whenever we use slower RAM, the computer did appear to send display to the monitor, blah, blah, blah. Whenever we use slower RAM. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So they tried, they tried slower RAM. So why would it, it just doesn't make any sense. Why would a tech tell you to use slower RAM when you plug in slower RAM and it still doesn't work? In other words, you know, you've already tried that and it's, it didn't resolve the issue. So the issue doesn't seem to be RAM. Now, of course the issue got better. So that's the reason why he may say something like that, but still that's kind of a leap. So I, I wouldn't go with that. I, I would say, um, you know, if it's brand new RAM, you know, and you still are within warranty or you're still within, you know, like the 14 days or whatever it is in your area, then, then go ahead and take it down to 3,200. But uh, as far as the issue goes, yeah, I would say graphics card, yeah, I would say graphics card. And if it's not graphics card, I would say motherboard. And if the CPU doesn't give, I mean, it could be also be the CPU, but it's gonna be one of those three. I would say graphics card, maybe 80%. Um, CPU and motherboard, maybe 10%, maybe 12% CPU, 8% motherboard. It really kind of depends on what happens if you have integrated graphics and you plug directly into the computer. But yeah, though, that is my take on that. So hopefully that helps out. Let me know how that works out. And uh, yeah, let me go to the next one here.